When the new Waddell and Reed headquarters open, the company says the building will be fit for office life in the post-pandemic world. 41 Action News reporter Charlie Keegan has a closer look at some of the areas that it's focusing on for us this morning. Think of things like better acoustics so that when you're dialing into an office meeting, you can actually hear what's happening in the office and then the folks on the other line can hear the person who's dialing in and all work cohesively. Waddell and Reed, which is under construction here right here behind me, envisions a future where people are working from both home and on site. I want to show you what this building will look like when that construction is done. These are the latest renderings from Waddell and Reed. The financial company says it's too soon to show the inside of the office building, but that is where a lot of these big changes will be taking place. For one, the company is working with a design consultant on how to make the workspace as flexible as possible so that employees can be just as efficient whether they're on site or working remotely. All of this is in, was in the works before the pandemic and while Ellen Reed says what's happened here during the coronavirus has just really highlighted the need to make sure that all of this is up and running. Now the new building under construction here behind me should be open in 2022. It's near 14th in Baltimore, 14th in Wyandotte, uh, while Ellen Reed is currently headquartered in Overland Park. Reporting in Kansas City, Missouri, I'm Charlie Keegan, 41 Action News.